Hello friends, this video on photosynthesis in higher plants part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now look at the next step that is splitting of water. So now we will talk about splitting of water. Now what do, why do we need this splitting of water and where does it play a role? This process of splitting of water is also known as photolysis. Lysis means to cut or to break down and photo means light. That means breaking down of water in presence of light. That is called photolysis. Now why do we need photolysis? Now who compensates for the lost electron from PS2? Now when the light falls on photosystem 2, electron gets excited and it moves out of PS2. So that means there is electron deficiency in PS2. So who would fulfill, who will fulfill that electron deficiency in PS2? In order to compensate for that deficiency or in order to fulfill that deficiency, splitting of water takes place. Now where does it take place? How does it take place? That we will see here. Now electron deficiency is compensated by oxidation of water. So oxidation of water is nothing but splitting of water into hydrogen ions and electrons and oxygen. And these electrons are sent back to PS2 in order to fulfill the deficiency. Now how does this take place? Now this oxidation of water happens through OEC. What is OEC? It is oxygen evolving complex. So this is called oxygen evolving complex. That is OEC, oxygen evolving complex. Now what is this oxygen evolving complex? This is a protein structure or you can say an enzyme because enzymes are also mostly proteins. So, which has a cofactor with cluster of manganese ions. So, this OEC is a protein structure with manganese ions. Okay. So, this manganese complex is highly oxidized. So, it is able to transfer the electrons in water to PS2. So, what happens is how the water breaks down. So let us see how the water breaks down. So this is the water and this water breaks down to form the hydrogen ions plus electrons plus oxygen. Or you can write this equation as H2O gives two hydrogen ions plus two electrons plus half O2. You can write it in any of these ways. So what is happening? Water is getting oxidized and this happens because of the presence of this OEC that is the manganese complex or the protein structure. The enzyme with manganese is stimulated by loss of electrons in PS2. Now what happens is when light falls on PS2, electron is lost from PS2. As soon as the electron is lost from PS2, this OEC or the manganese complex gets stimulated. It is like an enzyme. So the enzyme gets stimulated. The enzyme is activated. Now once this complex is activated, it causes the oxidation of water to form hydrogen ions, electrons and oxygen. Now what happens to all these products? Now these electrons are sent to PS2 to compensate for the lost electron. So that is how the electron is utilized. What happens to the oxygen? Now please remember that oxygen is a byproduct of photosynthesis. So it is anyways a byproduct of the process of photosynthesis. So you see in this step, the oxygen is released. So this oxygen released is nothing but the oxygen which is produced in the overall reaction of photosynthesis. Okay. And the other, what happens to this proton ion? This releases this H plus ions or the protons. Now where are these protons released? These protons are released in the thylakoid space. Now where is this reaction taking place? Where is this Hydro, uh, water, splitting of water or photolysis taking place. It is taking place near PS2. Now where are the PS2 located? Now the photosystems are located in the thylakoid membranes. Please remember the structure. This is your stroma. Inside the stroma you have the thylakoids arranged like this. 
right so in these thylakoid membranes ps1 ps2 are located so basically the process of electron excitation or the process of electron transport system everything is taking place in the thylakoid membranes so if you look at each structure of a thylakoid it is something like this this is your thylakoid membrane there you have ps1 electron transport chain and ps2 so from near ps2 somewhere this water splitting is taking place right so whatever ions are produced these hydrogen ions will be accumulated in this space and what is this space this is the thylakoid space because this is the thylakoid membrane and the inside portion is the thylakoid lumen or thylakoid space whatever you call it so this hydrogen ions will get accumulated in this thylakoid space so this ions accumulate in the thylakoid space so it will accumulate now this also will help to develop the proton gradient you remember i spoke about proton gradient in one of the previous slides also i told you that the energy which is released during the electron transport chain helps to create proton gradient now this is the proton gradient which i was talking about now how the proton gradient develops due to water splitting a lot of protons get accumulated in the thylakoid space so the proton concentration increases here also when the electron passes through this electron transport chain this is the electron transport chain there also when the electrons are transferred from one carrier to other carrier what happens is protons are sent inside the thylakoid space from stroma so that energy is utilized which energy i was talking about the energy released during electron transport chain they help to transport protons from stroma this is stroma right this area was trauma right now i am talking about the thylakoid so protons are sent inside so what happens the proton concentration inside the thylakoid increases and the proton concentration in the stroma decreases that is how a proton gradient is created now we will see how the proton gradient is helpful how that proton gradient helps so we will talk about that also so for now you understood the process of photolysis so photolysis is the oxidation of water which happens through the help of oec or oxygen evolving complex which contains manganese ions this complex gets activated by loss of electron from ps2 and it produces the oxidation of water produces hydrogen ions which gets accumulated in the thylakoid space electrons which go moves into ps2 to compensate for the lost electron and oxygen which is produced is the is a by product of photosynthesis thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again